Welcome to the celebration of Dr. Darion Pollard's 10th anniversary as Montgomery College's president. I'm Scott Royal, the president and CEO of Westat, and honored that I was invited to MC this virtual event. I think they picked me because I have some exciting news to share. I'm sincerely excited about a new initiative that Dr. Pollard is starting and can't wait to tell you more. So please do stay with us and enjoy the entire program. I am truly delighted to spend some time with you honoring Dr. Pollard as she celebrates a milestone anniversary. Montgomery College has come a long way in 10 years under her leadership. Let's take a look at a video that touches on just some of her many contributions. My friends, today we are at another crossroad in our country. We're in another war of sorts against COVID-19. And at the same time, it has highlighted racial and social economic inequalities in some very dramatic ways. And once again, higher education is rising to that challenge. Ladies and gentlemen, the president of Montgomery College, Dr. Darian P. Pollard. Thank you all for championing this institution. Today is not about me. It's about us and this college that we all love. And I'm grateful to join an incredible team of people who have given tirelessly and fully to this college. You've given our students and our community your time, your passion, and your compassion. And I'm so glad that we start from a, such a strong place to shape our future together. We all agree on one thing. At least I hope you do. Community college is a potentially the most transformative institution in contemporary America. We are in the business of changing lives. We welcome every student who could benefit from college, no matter a student's background, age, or skill set. Every student has an opportunity to realize their full potential. We serve both the haves and the have-nots. We pride ourselves on being inclusive, on being fully relevant to our entire community. An educated workforce is key to maintaining our standing in the world. A college degree benefits not only the individual, but the broader society. Montgomery College plays a key role in building the future healthcare and STEM workforce. The scientists, the engineers, the nurses, the infotech and cybersecurity workforce. As many as 90% of Montgomery College students remain in the state and contribute to economic growth. We are and should be defining the standards rather than simply living up to them. The greatest successes at Montgomery College are accomplished student by student. We are one college and together we succeed. He said, there's this job at Montgomery College that I think it's calling my name and I said, well, don't, don't listen to it. Don't, don't, I don't, I don't care. Don't listen. And she said, no, I've got to look at it. And I got to be honest. I did not want to leave California. It was 80 degrees every day and beautiful. And I did not want to leave. So she applied. They offered her the job. We packed up and moved here. And like always, she was right. This was the best move for us. This is where we were supposed to be. I've had the opportunity to work with Dr. Pollard throughout her entire 10 years at Montgomery College. It is a real mark of leadership to see people succeed, but she has success under difficult circumstances. First, the Great Recession that I think really tested leadership and she performed excellent. And now we're going through a pandemic and she is doing an outstanding job in my opinion. It is exceptional to have leaders who are performing very well under very difficult circumstances. I think she has worked to develop relationships with people and uh, and really you feel like you're in a partnership with her. And I always feel like she's not only representing the college, but she's working for the benefit of the county. And when we're all working for the same thing, whether it's 
something not so small like the college or the county as a whole, it's a big deal when you have partners. I was on the council when Dr. Pollard was first brought on. It was clear to me that she was someone who was going to lead the college and ultimately lead the community in an amazingly positive direction. I've had the pleasure of working with Darian since she became president 10 years ago. I was actually on the search committee that recommended Darian be appointed and, and we were we were lucky to get her. Uh, we're lucky to still have her. She wants to make a difference. She wants her her college to make a difference. Everybody she works with feels that she's supportive of what they're doing and she's inclusive. She brings them into her tent so that together they can achieve much more greater uh, things uh, than they can alone. She knows how to leverage the strength of community organizations and businesses to help the college and its students. Uh, I have seen her development from faculty member to mid-level administrator, now as, as a president, and to see her over a 10-year period makes such a difference in our state. Uh, no one is uh, more highly valued as an educational leader, as a thought leader in higher education than Dr. Pollard. She understands that it's not just about delivering on what's needed now, um, but how we need to focus on what's gonna be needed 10, 20 years down the road. Look, it's not easy to be a community college leader. Uh, it wasn't easy in the last century and it sure isn't easy in this one. And the fact that she's been at it for 10 years with the depth and grace of her work, I think it's tremendous. When I was asked to consider who might be a good president to testify before Congress, I didn't hesitate for a moment to recommend Dr. Pollard because when she faces congressional leaders, she has their attention. It is so powerful to hear the voices of students uh, for, you know, during our public hearings. It just brings to life what Montgomery College is about. She's so comfortable taking a step back and letting the students speak for the experience. And it takes a very confident and special type of leader to do that. Dr. Pollard is the leader that Montgomery County needs and has benefited from over the last 10 years. She's just kind. Kindness goes a long way, and we're seeing that in the world when you have a lack of it in, in political leadership and in other places. She moves people along in a way that's kind, confident, uh, but remembers the innate worth in all people. Through Dr. Pollard's leadership and in getting involved with Montgomery College, it is clear to me and to my colleagues that students are at the center of every decision that the school makes. I woke up this morning to the uh, local news and what was up there on the news was Montgomery College. And you know why? Because this woman has led it to its highest level. She saw a future where community college helps students reach their full potential, where businesses have access to the skilled workforce they need to thrive and where the whole community is stronger. My initial introduction to Dr. Pollack was at a small luncheon. I arrived with an open mind, tried to learn about Montgomery College, but not imagining that we soon commit $1 million to the ambition. As an immigrant myself, her commitment to inclusion impressed me. She recognizes that we have 180 plus different countries and different languages that are represented here. But more importantly, she understands that every person, no matter where they're from or what they want to achieve, deserves the opportunity to do it. You know, we've had issues in, uh, with race relations, with rights for women, with people with disabilities, the list goes on, our LGBTQ community. Radical inclusion is about no matter who you are, where you come from, who you worship, who you love, that you have something to offer. Your skills and abilities can contribute to our county, our state, our nation. And she was talking about radical inclusion before this moment in time. Uh, she's a visionary in that way and understands that we all do better when we all do better and when we include each other. I'm an African-American, Middle Eastern Muslim woman. All my life, I really didn't have a specific place that I thought I could fully belong. But when I went to MC, there was like, there was so many different people around me from different backgrounds, religions, cultures, and it, it was really interesting 
to just be surrounded by such a diverse community, it really makes you feel like you belong. I can say for the immigrant experience, which, you know, where education is so central, Montgomery College provides that opportunity. So I would say that you are the right place at the right time and you should absolutely seek Montgomery College as your place to receive the most amazing education and then continue on from there. Community colleges, they are so important and even more relevant now. This is something that I have tried to instill in the education system. And that's what Montgomery College is doing through the leadership um, of Darian Pollard. I believe that she will make a difference. She has already made a difference um, in the 10 years that she's been president. And the work that she's doing now, particularly now, right? Particularly in our country, which has so many challenges. And we know that there are people who are not being well supported. We know that they need assistance. And the college is doing that work in our community. The students that graduate from Montgomery College and those that oftentimes go on to University at Shady Grove, more than 85% of them stay in Montgomery County. And so the investment that we're making in them today in, in high school and community college for their four-year institutions are giving them the tools that will allow them to begin to work immediately in our community and have an impact. In a time like this, in a moment like this, where we've got a global pandemic, but also racial unrest, uh, and calls for social justice and uh, racial equity. Uh, I couldn't think of a better leader than Dr. Pollard, a person who knows it because she lived it. Uh, and that's why I think she's such a stalwart when it comes to making sure that that access is available for everyone, because she knows about the difference that it can make in people's lives, how it can be a game changer uh, for folks who have been told that there is no future for them. If there's a place where inequalities are really evident, it's in our educational system and the opportunities that are afforded different groups of people. I mean, it's really important to have somebody who's been in this fight for a long time, who didn't arrive at this in the moment that suddenly it became the thing to do, but somebody who has been hammering on the door of correcting the injustices in society before that door was open and probably before even people thought there was a door there and just seemed like a wall. We're so fortunate that she has laid the groundwork uh, for all these years uh, so that we're not playing catch up. We're actually now, uh, I think, equipped to lead in this moment. You know, when I think about the need for a comprehensive program that looks at the academic needs, the financial needs, the social needs, um, I can't help but think about conversations that uh, Dr. Paula and I had years ago. We need leaders like her who understand that it's not about one aspect of a student's life, that we have to look at the, the whole picture. I came to Montgomery College to get involved because I heard Dr. Pollard speak at an Aspen event about college access and success. She was on a panel with a number of other people and we were getting to the point in the talk where all of the panelists were talking about how we just needed more data to be able to support students effectively. And Dr. Pollard paused and she said, yes, data would be helpful, but our students need help now. And these are some of the ways we're supporting them at Montgomery College. And I thought that's leadership I wanna support. She's a person who cares. She's a person who gives a damn about people's lives. She's not prescriptive as to what it is that you have to do to be successful. We all know that success means very different things to very different people. That's what equity is. Uh, it truly is about making sure that you're delivering what the person's vision is, not what your own vision is. I think that Dr. Pollard's uh, perspectives have had a major impact on the thinking of leadership um, not only in the community college sector, but in higher education more broadly about what equity looks like and how we do inclusion. Through a variety of programming, she's really managed to think about all of students' needs, their classroom needs, the things that affect their basic needs, that affect their performance in the classroom. Inclusion is important to this society today because you don't want anybody to feel left out. The more people participate in society, the better for the society. These are topics she's been talking about a very long time and has a great deal of expertise in this area, speaks truth to power. She has this amazing ability to explain 
the challenges with clarity and to bring people along because some people understand these issues much better than others. We need more Americans in general understanding that inclusion is critical. You know, I used to be a school teacher and this is the thing that always troubled me and among many things that have haunted me about that experience. We're listening to the parents of kids who didn't think their kids were ever going to go to college. People get a lot of messages that they're not going to fit or they're not going to make it. What professions you're going to be suited for is the ones opposed to the ones you're not. And so having a program that opens the door and makes it very clear that there's a path forward for you. Um, there are critical needs in the community and we want you to help meet these critical needs. As a professor of education, I have an opportunity to show and share students um, what education means and what were some of the barriers that have led us to these epic moments in our history. We need everybody in our society to be productive. We need them to be able to produce um, and to thrive. Our society will not thrive unless everybody in it has the opportunity to achieve. It's important that everybody does receive an education. We have to give them the opportunities. And that's where I see Montgomery College really playing a very important role. At the Selden Herring Smith Foundation, we are overjoyed to support Dr. Pollard's new initiative. It is bold and it is focused. Dr. Pollard is the kind of leader that everybody wants to see in action. We had a meeting one day and she looked at the data from African-American males in particular and found out that they were essentially just abysmal. Their numbers in terms of retention, their numbers in terms of graduation, it was just horrible. And she brought um, just stakeholders from around the county, from around the country, from internally and externally uh, familiar with Montgomery College so that we can address and come up with real solutions she rolls up her sleeves right along all of us and she helps with the strategic plans and she helps with the policy briefs and she helps with the data disaggregation and all the things that we know need to have happen in order to solve problems. She is a problem solver. Dr. Pollard is not afraid to identify a problem, even if it's a tough one. She takes a compassionate view of how it's going to impact all the people involved then she's very creative about how she goes about solving the problem and bringing all the parties to the table. She has worked tirelessly to expand access to a college education, and she understands that we have to build institutions that support students from diverse backgrounds. Coming from such a diverse background personally, and then coming to a college that was equally as diverse, it felt amazing because I could find people who related to me, people who spoke my language and understood the cultural background that I was coming from, and people I could surround myself with who not only just understood me, but added to me as a person as well, who taught me new things. In the coming months, students of the Rockville campus will see a Vietnamese name as they entered the recently built Student Service Center. For the Vietnamese student on campus, it would be a reminder of home. But for other students, it would be a symbol of diversity of Montgomery College represent. It was really interesting that when I gave the commencement address and I looked out over the entire student body and noticed the diversity, and you do not see that in many colleges, it's just amazing to see this inclusiveness because they are the future of our country. Not everybody has two parents at home. Not everyone has parents who are educated at the post-secondary level who can help their students when it comes to challenges that they face. These are students who may not have ever received any kind of support, any kind of accolade saying, hey, you're doing a great job. Your success is important to all of us. That's what these programs do. The urgency of this President Scholars Program is that families need support. Our society is in a challenging period. We all know that, but it's a pivotal period. And the only way we move to the other side, that we get beyond this challenge, is to look the challenges directly in the face and to use our brain power and our compassion 
to support families and students as we work together to make a difference. It's not people of means who are most needy. We all need emotional support, but it's people who need that financial help. It's not enough to say that you want to address these issues. Um, it is important to understand how you can use resources to then support initiatives that really will produce the kind of results that we're looking for. This program recognizes that we have a great deal of uh, talent and assets that are in the community. But without the opportunity to provide the scholarship, the mentoring, and all other things that enhance education, much of that talent will not be fully utilized and brought to forth, brought forth. I think having programs such as the Scholars Program that enhances that and provide access to many students and opportunities, clearly what is needed in order to assist many of these students. Programs like Presidential Scholars and ACES are about making sure that communities like immigrant communities or African-American community or Latino community that have faced historic, dis historic disadvantages in this country and in this county, that they really have access uh, to the level of education and skills training that's going to enable them to achieve the American dream, to have a high quality of life and to contribute to our economy. I think it's an incredible initiative. It will make a big difference for students who need that personal attention who need people to say, we care about you. We want you to succeed. It is a comprehensive approach. It's not just academic, but it's people in the community. It's people in the workplace. It's that personal touch that Darian Pollard is known for. And I applaud her for putting this forward. It's super important that we not only maintain, but we enforce the thriving of programs like ACES and the Presidential Scholar Program, primarily because it gives kids an opportunity. So I was one of those students. I'm first generation, uh, middle of seven children, single parent home. There's no way in the world I was going to make it through my undergraduate and graduate programs without the support that is absolutely necessary. Having the special initiatives uh, and programs that with the president's name in them will let people know this is important to Montgomery College. People around the world are looking to see how we treat human beings and those in need. This program addresses that question head on. Having programs such as this at this point in time, where we've had the challenges of Black Lives Matter, we've had the questions of job improvement for so many who are at loss today, I think allows us an opportunity to provide the kind of unique perspective, provide leadership and provide students who can make a positive difference in our society. Thank you, Darian, for inspiring us and for partnering with us to build a better future for Montgomery County and beyond. We are very, very fortunate to have her in the state of Maryland. Congratulations on these past 10 years. I'm just thankful that you're there for all the students and families that you serve. Thank you for your leadership. You have made an impact in everything that you've done, in every program that you've touched, in every activity in which you've partaken. I would have never thought that just having her sit next to me could bring us so much luck in winning the national championship. My hat is off to you for your strong leadership and what you have built in our community. Continue to be the person that you are. I think that you are one of the most impactful leaders throughout my tenure in public office. And I wish for us here in the county, many, many more years of having you leading this extraordinary institution. I just want to congratulate you on 10 years. I've always appreciated your ability to look at the county as a whole. I'm looking forward to the growth and success of the college. Thank you so much for being a colleague. Thank you so much for being my friend. Thank you so much for being my partner um, in building an education system in Montgomery County that's serving everyone. Dr. Pollard, I'd like to thank you for all the work that you've put in to make this college as diverse and accepting as it currently is, and the work that you continue to put in to diversify it even more. So Darian, let me say congratulations. And you have truly changed the lives of so many. I hope that this is not anywhere close to the end and we can continue to have you as a leader here uh, at Montgomery College for many, many years to come. It's so interesting because originally she wanted to be a beautician, which I can't even imagine that because um, she'd be trying to change the world while she's doing someone's hair. So I can't even imagine that. It's been, it's been 10 years. 
I mean, I guess 10 years doesn't seem that long, but it really, it really was. I was like three, dang. After we moved here, I made friends. It's a good environment. I mean, she put me in a good place. You put me in a good place. So, I mean, thank you. No, I love you. He said, there's this job at Montgomery College that's calling my name. And I said, well, don't, don't listen to it. I'm glad she didn't listen to me. The Presidential Scholars Program is about opportunity. Achievement has always been central to Montgomery College, but we also realize that not everyone has been empowered to make changes in their lives that lead to achievement. This program raises the bar for everyone. It will provide more students the opportunity to grow and challenge themselves. It will allow everyone a shot at transformational change, but it will also grow our communities Higher education is not just about the life of an individual. It's about where we want to go as a community. Do we want to build neighborhoods where each person is empowered through education to contribute their very best to the common good? At Montgomery College, the answer is yes. We've proven our strength in the nearly 30,000 graduates who've successfully completed degrees and certificates in the last 10 years. This historical moment has made us reflect on whether the effort we're investing in educational equity has been enough? Has it brought all students to the same levels of achievement? And if not, why not? The Presidential Scholars Program is an answer to this question. It's the right answer, at the right moment, in the right place. Montgomery College's commitment to radical inclusion has never been deeper, and our community's need has never been greater. These are the moments in which we shine, meeting the community at its place of greatest need in most urgent times, leading through service and inspiring the next leader in our midst. We are MC Strong. That's really exciting. True to form for a college celebration, I learned some new things. It made me want to know more and to do more to help. I am very proud to announce that Westat is a partner and sponsor in this effort. If you're like me, you want to know more about the Presidential Scholars Program and how you can stay engaged in the movement to make higher education an accessible dream for all citizens. You'll want to help make this dream a reality. You'll want to know more about Dr. Pollard's plans for the future and more about the radical success I know the amazing educational gem right here in Montgomery County, Montgomery College, will experience in the years to come. Until next time, I quote Dr. Pollard. It's like a warm hug with words. I always enjoy when we part ways, she says, be well.